So today we're going to dive deeper into affirmations and how to truly use them to help you manifest your best life. My name is Dr. Lisa Brim, a doctor of metaphysics and divinity. So I cannot write your prescription, but I can give you a good essential oil or crystal to use. Okay. Now, affirmations for the purpose of manifestation. We tend to throw this around a lot, right? And it's just kind of like, make these affirmations, make these affirmations. We talked in the last video about three different tips, three different points that can help you create good, solid affirmations. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about the application of the affirmation. Okay. The application of the affirmation. Why are we doing this? As we stated in the last video, we are doing affirmations so that we can reprogram our third dimensional brain. We also are doing it though, so that we can reprogram our heart so that we begin to vibrate in every cell of our being at this higher frequency of this other life that we are manifesting that we wish to live. Okay. So the affirmation sends out into the ethos, into the cosmos, the energy necessary to bring in this alternative outcome or this alternative life that is already in existence in the future, but it's meant to call it in, bring it in so that it will become a part of our current present. This is very important for us to understand the application of the affirmation. So you're not just saying this just to in general make you feel good. You are literally reprogramming your frequency of your entire being when you properly execute the affirmation principle, if you will. Okay. When you are properly utilizing affirmations in your life, you are literally reprogramming your entire being, your mind, your heart, your soul, your body. This is why it's very important to be clear on the affirmation, for the affirmation to be positive in nature, for the affirmation to be a level of creation energy. Because as you continue to speak this over and over and over again, what you're going to do is you're basically bathing your body, your mind, your soul, your being in this energy of creation of this life that is of the highest good, your highest good. And you are determining that the application of affirmation is not done by some outside source. It is done by you. You are stepping into your level of divinity. You're step stepping into your level of power. You are stepping into the life that you chose along with Supreme creator you chose to live, not somebody else, not anyone else. You made this contract. You made this soul contract before you came into this body. So now what you're doing is you're saying, okay, I know my life is this way, but now I'm choosing to make it this. I'm choosing. I am creating this other being that is in a vibrational, motivational, creational space that is at a higher level than me, vibrationally, at a higher level than me. I'm creating this being and I'm creating it by what? By my spoken word. Now, if you follow the Christian faith, or even if you follow most any other, I mean, I haven't found one spirituality practice that doesn't do this. Um, if you follow that, you'll know that all the words were created. The worlds were created by words. All the worlds were created by what? Words. So your word creates your world. Where I think people get hung up at, they, they get, there's this level of fear 
Like you can get to a point where you're manifesting things and things are going great. And then you get to kind of a stopping point. You're just like, oh no, you know, am I supposed to go further? Am I good enough? Do I know enough? Have I done enough? Who's going to listen to me anyway? What, do I really deserve this life that I'm seeking to create? Like all these things are happening. And this, and for a lot of people, what will happen is they'll say, I'm not sure this is God's will. I'm here to tell you, why would it not be God's will for you to live the life of your highest good? I want you to ask that very simple question. Why would it not be God's will for you to live the life of your highest good? And the reason why I need you to answer this question now is because if you don't answer this now, all the affirmations in the world aren't going to make any difference. Remember I said, if you don't have a structure in order for this affirmation to take hold and take root, it's not going to come to pass. It is then delusional. It's not creation. It's delusional. It's not imagination. It's delusional. So what I need you to get out of the delusion that somehow you don't deserve or that God doesn't want this or that Supreme Creator doesn't want this or Spirit doesn't want this. Of course, it may not play out the exact same way that you think it's going to play out. And that's okay. Totally fine. But it's going to come to pass. You've been speaking death over yourself. You've been affirming death or lack or sadness or destruction over yourself, probably for all your life. So what are you, what's there to lose in doing it this way? Nothing. So the application of the affirmation is meant so that your imagination can participate, participate in the creation of your new being, of your best life. Right? I'll say it one more time. The application of affirmation is so that your imagination can participate in the creation of your new life. It's just that simple. So now when we construct these affirmations and leave me some comments below, if that like, did that click something for you? Did that like, was there an aha moment here? Like, oh wow. Now I understand how I'm going to apply my affirmations in order to choose because you've already chosen. So you choose the life, right? And now you apply your affirmations to that so that your imagination as you're seeing yourself as this being can create it. All right. That's what I got for you for today. Leave me some comments. Give me a like, a follow, a share whatever, a subscribe, whatever platform you're on, I want you to do the thing so you'll get more information just like this. Okay. And then much, much more. I've got a lot on these platforms that you're going to see everything from, you know, every aspect of spirituality to, you know, pop culture to sometimes we talk about business and things like that as well. So you're going to get a lot of, um, inspirational and elevational content. So do me a favor. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit that subscribe or that follow button. Put a like on this. Leave me a comment. Let me know how this is. And if you have any questions, right? So that I can reply to them. All right, guys. Until next time, I love you so much. And please never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. See you soon.